Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on forming a quadratic equation from the area of a trapezium. So we've got a trapezium here, remember a trapezium has a pair of parallel sides and we're told the area of the trapezium, it's 96, and we have to show that using these sides of the trapezium and the area of the trapezium we can form this equation here. Now just a, a point about show that, when you're trying to show a particular equation, it doesn't mean solve the equation, it doesn't say find the value of x, it basically means we somehow have to use this information combined to form this particular equation. And then there might be a subsequent part of the question which then says solve this equation to find the value of x, but that's not what we're doing here. Now, it tells us the area of the trapezium, so let's think about the area of a trapezium in general. So if we have a trapezium, and we've got sides of A and B, they're the parallel sides, and we've got a distance between those parallel sides of H, the height of the trapezium. Do you remember the area of a trapezium is the average of the parallel sides times the height between them. So the average of the parallel sides, we add the two parallel sides and divide them by two, that's the average of A and B, and then you times by the height between them. So it's a bit like the area of a rectangle, except for you average the two parallel sides first, and then just do that average length times by the height. So we need to use that formula with this information here. So the area we know is 96, so we can write 96 equals, and then what are our sides? A plus B, so the two parallel sides, x plus 2 and the 4x, so the A is x plus 2, the B is the 4x, then divide by 2, so that's the average of that side and that side, and then times by the height between them, the x in this case, that's x. So we now have an equation and we have to manipulate this equation, simplify it until we get to a quadratic equation of this form. So let's just simplify this fraction first. Well, x plus 4x is 5x, we've got 5x plus 2 over 2. And we've got times this x here. Now, if we want to times together a fraction and a non-fraction, we could turn that x into a fraction by putting it over 1, because x over 1 is just the same as x, and that enables us to combine this into a single fraction. So, we do the numerators multiply together, so x times 5x plus 2, let's write x brackets 5x plus 2, because that means the product of them over 2 times 1, so over 2. So I gradually want to simplify this further. Now I don't like fractions and equations, I want to get rid of this over 2 here, and to get rid of the over 2, you multiply both sides by 2. So if we do that, then the left hand side becomes 192, and on the right hand side, the times 2 cancels that over 2, and we're left with x brackets 5x plus 2. And we're getting very warm now. So we just need to expand this bracket. So you do x times 5x, which is 5x squared, and we do x times 2, which is 2x. And let's look at the form we want to get it in. We want to get it in the form 5x squared plus something x plus something equals 0. So the 5x squared is already positive on this side, so this is the right-hand side is that hand side there. But we want the 0 on the other side of the equation. So we don't want that 192, so I'm just going to minus 192 from both sides, so we get 0 on one side. And that's going to give us 5x squared plus 2x, and then we're doing minus 192, and that's equal to zero. But just for consistency with here, I'm going to put the equal zero over here. And we're done. And just a reminder, we could solve this equation, but the question is not requiring us to do that. It just wants us to show how we could get to an equation in this form using the information provided. So the area of 96 and these sides here.